I like the Reds, we're doing an on this day, and it's an on this day about when Liverpool signed Louis Garcia from Barcelona, and we're in Barcelona. Uh, so it's almost like we planned it, and we did, the, <laughs> we, we did didn't we, give away? Uh, yeah, Rafa Benitez signed them uh, for about £7 million quid thereabouts. Uh, he'd managed them before, he'd managed them before at Tenerife, which is where he knew them from. Uh, ended up at Barcelona, it didn't quite work out for him there. Comes to Liverpool, um, and... He still, I mean, he's got his song, and that's why we've got the sangria here and everything else. He's well loved, scored some cracking goals, but he also, I think it's fair to say, divided opinion a little bit. I mean, the Arlasses on the cop and in the main stand and stuff definitely had a good moan about some of the things Louis Garcia did for Liverpool. Yeah, he was he was a real sort of man, my player. Like I remember, my dad loved him. I used to love him as well. Like, but you know, he was he was fr frustrated a lot of people as well. Yeah. Frustrated quite a few people in terms of give the ball away a lot. And I think if you were to stick up for him, you'd say, well, he was always trying stuff. He was always trying to like create things and stuff like that. But sometimes little five yard passes just going to the opposition, you couldn't quite understand it. But as you've said there, though, the big goals, I mean, you know, some of the most famous goals in Liverpool's history, yeah. really, you know, certainly after, after the last 20 years, there's the ghost goal against Chelsea, there's another goal against Chelsea in an FA Cup semi-final at Old, at Old Trafford, there's the Juve one, you know, he just seemed to be the, the man for the big occasion, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, he, he absolutely loved it, and I think, I think it's fair to say, like, you know, some managers and players just sort of seem to bond, and I think... I think maybe other managers maybe looked at Garcia and would look at that stuff that we, that you mentioned, the fact that he would try tricks and turns around his own box, which is always the sort of the big no-no, and he, he would do it. And you know, I think some managers would, would would lose the rag with him and maybe say this fella's not for me. But Benitez got it out of him, didn't he, constantly, and obviously did uh, previously at Tenerife as well. And as you say, some of those goals. I mean, you know, the the Juventus one. I think an absolute cracker, and that's what he'll always be remembered for. That that run up to to winning the Champions League. Yeah, look, he was you know he was he's part of that really exciting time, wasn't he? You know when when Rafa came in and he brought him in him, him and Alonso within yeah. about a week, and you know it feel like it sort of you know it was always revolutionising how we played really. And obviously there'd been the Hula area and, and a lot of sort of French players, but also like big guys and they were a tough team to play against the Hula side. Where the you know guys you know you brought Hupio Hancho Heskey you know the guys who were, you know big stature you know played a certain way we weren't always that pretty but we were effective whereas Garcia I always associate with a, you know a, you know the kind of a change of, of, of style in football and also you know something that you know could really get you off your seat and and Louis could do that certainly you know in terms of his his goals but also kind of like his, his creative play as well and. Yeah, he just seems to love it as well, yeah. and I think that's what you were saying. Where you, you know, some players kind of bond with the crowd, and I think he comes to Liverpool, you know, maybe not quite sure what to expect of obviously the city and kind of what was going to go on, and finish his first year with the Champions League medal and, and and so many memories. And I love the fact he still does the circuit, you know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. he still does, you know, a lot of the five times stuff and stuff like that. You know, he, he'll always be able to dine out on Istanbul, but but why not? You know what I mean? Absolutely, and you know, he seems to he seems to enjoy that as well, and I think as well, he just seems like a bit of a laugh and a nice fella um, you know you've seen him on his Instagram sort of take the piss out of Chelsea and do the ghost goal thing dress up as a ghost on the anniversary <laughs> of, the, of that goal I think he wrote a letter to, to Liverpool fans as well when he left and things like that so you know he, he wasn't one of these sort of mercenaries he genuinely sort of fell in love with Liverpool still comes back still takes part as Gibbo says in the sort of ex-player stuff and things like that so well in Louis, uh, we've enjoyed talking about you and we're going to finish by having some sangria. So up the reds, up Louis, <laughs> you drink sangria and so do we. Up the reds. <laughs>